What is up YouTube? Drakkard plays here and welcome to our very first YouTube video. Today we are going to review The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, a remake from the Nintendo Switch, so stick around. As we all know, the very first Link's Awakening came out during the 1990s for the Game Boy, and ever since then it has been a fan favorite, and now fast forward to 2019, Nintendo Switch released a remake for Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is still played top view, same with the classic, and offers pretty much the same content, story, and puzzles as the original. However, there are few additions to the game. Unlike the Game Boy, we are only limited to the A and B button. But with the Switch now, the addition of the X and Y button has made the game a lot more easy. The classic lets you switch weapons with only the A and B button. Now, there is a dedicated button for your sword, your shield, pegasus boots, and the power bracelet, so you can actually equip two more additional equipments with the X and Y. Gameplay wise, there is a smoother game transition now compared to the classic where it just hits you with playing in the maze, where the transitions go still remain in the dungeons. The bosses are pretty much the same difficulty compared to the original, with a few exceptions to the mini bosses. Also, there is a new mode available at the start of the game, where you can actually choose to play in normal difficulty or in hero mode. Hero mode makes it difficult for you to recover your health, because there will be no heart drops from monsters or from cutting grass or even breaking pots. You can only recover your hearts if you can find a fairy cave, a piece of heart, or by using Crazy Tracy's special medicine. Fishing has also been added to the game, and there is a big improvement in the crane minigame. One noticeable feature in Link's Awakening is the autosave. A convenience actually, because there are a lot of times where you tend to forget to manually save your game. In addition, you can also get more heart pieces, with a total of 20 hearts as compared to the original where you can only get a maximum of 14. The warp points has improved as well, giving you the freedom to choose where you want to warp. The game itself also pretty much tells you where to go next. Koholin Island is a small island anyways, so you can never get lost. The game makes you feel so nostalgic and keeps you hooked on for hours. Graphics are off the charts and it's a complete overhaul from the classic. The only setback is that the game can be finished in 20 to 24 hours depending on your pace. Monsters on the open map can be killed in one hit if you've unlocked and received the upgrade from the color dungeon. Nonetheless, Link's Awakening has again proven itself worthy and should be in the run for one of the best games for the Nintendo Switch. Link's Awakening launched number one on the UK and sold almost 150,000 physical copies in Japan and almost 450,000 copies in Europe during its first three days on sale. Man, I wish they'd remake the Oracle of Ages and the Oracle of Seasons. But overall, we score Link's Awakening a 10 over 10, and it's definitely a must-have if you own a Nintendo Switch. So, we hope this video helps you in deciding if ever you want to buy a Link's Awakening or not. This has been Drakkard's Play, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more reviews. Until the next video.